Hey everyone, it's Heather and I'm back with another video. Today I kind of wanted to do a um, art journal flip through because I haven't done anything art journal related in a really long time and I know there's a lot of subscribers that are into that and I've just been getting back into it recently because I've been making time. I haven't really had any time but I've just been finishing up some pages that I started a long long time ago. So before I get into that, there's some kind of ideas for art journaling that I wanted to share with you, and I think a lot of these are really important, and I just have them printed off on a paper here, because I made this list a long time ago for a friend who was getting into art journaling, and I think it's valuable to share with everyone. So I just have two different columns. Um, the first one is ideas to get you started. Basically, it's a list of lack of rules. So explaining that there are no rules, that's kind of the first point. Second is you can find inspiration anywhere. So if you're looking outside and it's a beautiful day, maybe you want to journal about that. Um, a lot of things that I journal about are things that I'm going through or things that I'm feeling. So again, another rule um, or lack of rule, basically just an idea, um, is to pour out your built up feelings Another one, pages do not have to be pretty, and that is in quotations because pretty is an opinion, and what one person thinks is nice may not be nice to another, and so basically just make it how you want to make it, no matter what anyone else may think of it. Um, let loose and relax, so again, that's quite an important thing because I think art journaling is all about relaxing and letting out what you feel. Um, and I, another idea is to try some two-page spreads, so instead of just doing single pages, try to do some two pages, just uh, switch things up. Um, pages do not have to be completed in order, that's a big one. I jump back and forth throughout my art journal and I don't think it matters at all what order you do things in. You may want to do it in order and that's okay too. Um, one page does not have to be finished before another is started. So finished again is in quotations because you might think it's finished at first and then you might want to go back and add to it and that's perfectly okay. Or you might just want to test some supplies and come back to it later. Um, express what you feel with color, symbols and words. That's just another fun idea. Um, be messy. That's very important. Don't worry about what your table looks like. Lay down some newspaper so you can clean it up easy maybe, but just let everything go. Um, experiment. So if you have new supplies, maybe you just want to test them in your journal and then make it into a page later. Play with color combinations. So that's always a fun one. Doodle. I know a lot of you like to doodle even on scrapbook layouts, so do it in your art journal too. Um, add multiple layers. That's always fun, and that's something I love to do. And the last one, no thinking required, just create. I think that's very important. Don't overthink it. Just let out everything onto your page. And the second column is supplies to try in your art journal. So, um... A lot of these are just random supplies, I suppose. Here's my list. So, acrylic paint, watercolor, stickers, rub-ons, stamps, ink, oil, pastels, washi tape, buttons, paper flowers, chipboard letters, embossing powder, scrapbook paper, dictionary paper, tissue paper, die cuts, stencils, found materials, glimmer mist, and photos. So those are just a few of the things I like to use, but you can really put anything in your art journal. So. Let's get on with this, and I'll show you some of what's in my journal. This one is not completed by any means. You can see there's still several white pages and several incompleted or perhaps incompleted pages. So this is the cover. I made this journal out of canvas, chipboard, and cotton cord, and watercolor paper. And so here's the first page. This is very similar to the page, the very first page that I did in my first journal. This is my second journal, and I just really like this quote and 
the colors and the reflectivity of the rub and buff. There's some stamping. Again, there's lots of layering. So I really like that one. Page two. This is actually a video tutorial I have. So if you're interesting, interested in seeing how I did some of this page, check that out. I'll put the link in, link in the description. Link in, you know what I'm saying, I hope. This one, I don't know if this one's complete. I'm not super happy with it, but again, that's part of what art journaling is. So I'll see what I do with that. This one I had the background completed a long, long time ago and just recently added all this embellishing on top of it. So the background has a lot of UT, some crackle, different colors of sprays, some rub-ons, a lot of layering in this one. And I just really love the depth. Every time you look at it, you see a new piece that you like. And I just, I love that about journaling. This is really different from what I usually do. This is all with acrylic paint. And I was feeling pretty crazy that day, obviously. So, the bright one. This one, I used some beeswax. I had lit a candle and then I coated these different pieces in the wax. And I spread wax on the background so that's why you can kind of see through these different layers. And it's a really neat effect if you've never tried that before. Try it out. And it also acts as a resist in some spots too. Like here. And so I watercolored over top of that. This was inspired by an art piece that I saw at a gallery. And it is Eric Olson, and it's called India, so if you're interested in that, go Google it, because it's beautiful. So this is kind of my quick recreation of that elephant. This is a two-page spread, and I use some gesso and different little die-cut pieces. These I cut out of a shopping bag, I think it was from American Eagle, and then mounted it on black cardstock. And then I just have some song lyrics here. I don't know if that one's complete either. I might add more to it. We'll have to see. This one, I just love this quote. Make your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. So it's kind of a sunset, and there's a New York City skyline there. This one I just completed the other day too, and same thing, I had the background done for a long time. And I actually just posted this on my blog, but I love how the different sprays came out on this. I'm really liking the red and blue combo lately. And there is some crackle paint in the corner. I don't know if you can see it there. And there's some crackle paint on this. I really like that area too. And it's shiny from some other mediums and stuff. And there's some molding paste going on there. Just a lot of really cool things to look at. This one I have a tutorial on too, a video of the process. And there's some yarn, some baker's twine, there's a map in the background. Just a, again, a lot of layering, which I like to do. Um, some blank pages, some doodling. This one I actually completed today, it's about a lot of different things going on here, um, some neat textures, some glitter glue, I like this, how it looks going over top of the die cuts underneath, there's some crackle paint, love the crackle paint obviously because I use it a lot. This one, it's kind of a bunch of different things in the background. There's some um, UT, some note paper from school, some tapes, some bunch of different colors. And these things are just paper clipped on here to add to the 
idea of the page. I think that's really cute. Um, this page probably isn't done, but at the same time I'm really liking a lot of the exposed textures. This is a piece of cardboard that I cut. There's some loose burlap glued down with a lot of glitter in it. And this is stitched to the page. A lot of glitter and stuff and different colors going on there. Um, a couple blank pages. Here's another one. I love these chipboard wings with molding paste and I use some Windy Stamp Gang, um, what is that called? It's the mica powders or something, similar to Perfect Pearls. Lots of textures and sprays and painting and stamping and layering. Some words off the computer. And one more. This might be the last page. Yes, it is. This one has a thick piece of a clay thing that I made using a stamp. That's from Tim Holtz. This is um, like the button kind of off your jeans that you get. My grandma gave that to me. Some, oh, what is this called? Seam binding, a packaging back here, really vintage package. Some stuff I put on my typewriter. Some different um, papers in the background. This brick. Um, stencil using molding paste. I love the texture up there, how you can kind of see words and stuff through the paste. And this, these pages are meant to go together, so it's a lot of the same textures and paints and colors on these file cards. And I just um, attach them using um, eyelets, and that actually goes right through the page. So I'll have to incorporate this somehow into this page. Or cover it up, who knows. And then there's room for journaling on those cards. And on this page there's a lot of glitter and different paints and all kinds of fun stuff. So that is my art journal currently. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got inspired by some ideas that I shared. And if you're interested, I'm probably going to post this list of things on my blog. So check that out if you want that. And again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later.